So in this series of videos, we're going to look at solutions to the practice external um, task that's in the back of your New Lake workbook. Um, before you go about watching the vi videos, I'd really encourage you to stop this, read the actual article first, get your head around what the article says, and then try the questions on your own. And from there, if you get stuck, check out the video to help give you hints, and then maybe watch it afterwards so that you pick up on all the little things in here that maybe you don't get on your own or just from the answers in the back of the book. And do be aware that some of the answers in the back of the book um, refer to an, an old formula that's no longer in the standard. So I'll clarify that in these videos. Um, so the answers that I get here will be the ones that you'll want to pay attention to more. Now the first question is um, about lifestyle and being a Kiwi. And our first question, the parallel in-depth interview of 84 out of 91 people were glad to live in New Zealand. These figures from the in-depth interviews um, are these figures at variance, and at variance literally just means like, are they different? Are they against? Do they say a different story? Or they maybe don't comply with the rest of the Herald Digipool study that this article talks about? So basically we're looking at, is the in-depth interview, you know, does it agree or disagree, or even match, or make sense to compare it to the rest of the results that were said in the study here? So. Taking a look at that question, let's just refer to the part of the text that's got it. We're talking about an in-depth interview of 95 people in five immigrant communities found that all except seven were glad to live in the country. So that's where the, nine, the 84 comes from, 91 minus 7. And they were all glad to live in this country. So do the results from this actually even matter to the rest of the poll where they've asked New Zealanders to identify whether they'd like to be here or not? And you should be thinking there's some things that don't quite make sense. First point that I would make, if I was going to make points, was that the interview, oops, the interview was done with immigrants. Right? It said, five immigrant communities. So, so it was done with people who've moved to New Zealand from some other country. Now, maybe they moved here not out of choice. Maybe they were refugees and were fleeing for their life or something. But even in that case, they'd probably be more happy to live here because they chose to live here. Unlike people who were born here, the immigrants actually kind of made a choice. They tried to get away from where they were and to someplace else. So it was done, done with immigrants, and they might be more likely to want to be here. Additionally, the immigrants or the immigrant communities do not reflect the <coughs> New Zealand population. that the Digipol study looks at. So basically they're looking at two entirely different things. One is an in-depth interview where they talk to 91 people in immigrant communities that come from other countries. And the second one is that they just do a poll of all of New Zealanders to ask how they feel. So they're really looking at two completely different groups. A couple of other points that might come in here. We've got one here that's called the interviewer effect. You know, what if the person conducting the interview, um, the, the immigrants maybe didn't know exactly who they were, or thought maybe these are people from Immigration New Zealand checking to see if I actually want to be here, and if I say that I'm not happy, maybe I'd get kicked out of the country. So here there might have been an interviewer effect. We're just literally having somebody there that they might, the people getting asked might perceive as somebody in authority they might be more likely to give the answers they expect that person to hear. So immigrants may answer what they think is correct or what they think say this what they think the interviewer 
once to here. So that's an effect you've got to watch out for when you're doing a live interval view as opposed to an anonymous survey is, you know, just how is the person going to respond to the person that's asking them the question. So in this question they're kind of looking for three points and um, any of the ones that maybe you've come up besides this would probably work as well. But really this first one I've written out, the interview was done with immigrants. They might be more likely to want to be here. That's kind of one point, right? Immigrants might actually want to be here. My second point would probably be that immigrant communities do not reflect the New Zealand population. So again, they're talking to people that have nothing to kind of do in a representation of the whole population. And the last bit might be the interviewer effect. Okay. Um, so in order to keep these somewhat short, I'll probably stop between each question and um, start a new video. So carry on. We'll see how it goes.